Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. <laughs> when I think of New Year, I think of resolutions. And we already have gone through that topic a lot of times during our table topics. But I'm here to say it further. Um, one of the things, one of the common New Year's resolution, I went into the internet to research. And the first common New Year's resolution is exercise more. And then the second thing following is lose weight. Yes, Han would know that. <laughs> He's in a huge diet and hats off to him, I could never do that. Anyway, so my topic today is resolution and I'm going to specifically talk about losing weight. And every year I'm going on and I'm saying, oh, I need to lose weight. And every year I fail to do so. And I'm like, okay, I do that every year. When did I really start? I started at about, I think about 10 years ago. And it just goes into my head. 10 years ago, I was like about 13. And since 13, I've been thinking about losing weight. And it's just a phenomenon, like how did it all start? But then I just go to my friends and they are also talking about losing weight. They'll also be like, oh, I'm so fat. I need to lose weight. You know, see the fats here, see it. It's just like the mean girls. If anyone has seen Mean Girls, it's exactly like that. It's just like, oh, I'm so fat here, I'm so fat here, everywhere. And I was like, okay, everyone is the, uh, everyone's talking about it. When did it actually start? And it was about 20 to 30 years ago in the 90s era when there were skinny models going in the runway. They were tall, they were skinny, skinny to the point that they look more anorexic. But that was the trend back then. And everyone was just like, whoa, that is beautiful. That was the beauty standard that was created then. But it has made a lot of repercussions in the future. Because that is the beauty standard that only about 3% of the population are. Not everyone can be tall and that much of skinny. I have seen models in runway. I was. Uh, blessed enough to actually see a fashion show and those models didn't have any shape they didn't have any shape they didn't have any features and they were they all seemed like they wanted a cupcake so bad <laughs> and, but then they were there they were like they were just they, they all look very stern as well so it's just like scary but yeah and it was like okay so uh, that became a thing but this became a huge negative repercussion. Like there was things like anorexia, bulimia, that were eating disorders. There was mental illness that came up because of it. Depression, there was anxiety because you think you're fat and everything. And you're just going like, oh my God, I can't, I, I look so fat in it. I cannot get out of the house. And the thing is that happened to me too. It's not just, these people or whatever I see in the media, but it's also myself Like I'm just going like, oh my God, I look so fat. I don't feel like getting out of the house. Even working out, going to the gym sometimes. It's just you're in the gym, everyone is so fit and you're going like, okay, they're, they're all staring at me and I'm not sure on how to use the machine that, like when I first ever started it. Now I'm a little bit more confident. I'm a little bit more like, I don't care. I'm just going there. I'm doing my thing. But then I realized this, this part of me, I didn't realize it when I first started off. I realized it when another girl, another friend of mine, I brought her to the gym for the very first time. And she felt that way. And I was like, oh my God, this is really horrible. And I had to tell her, no, no one's, no one really cares. Sometimes you don't know when the treadmill stops. If anyone who has been to the gym and you first time stepped on a treadmill, you're just going like, oh my God, how does it move? And you, you literally forget how to walk and then you have to run and then it makes some noises. And then when you stop it, you're like, oh shit. And then you, you don't know how to get out. And then so, sometimes you trip. And all these consciousness that comes together with it is just so sad. But then when I would say Western industry is making a little bit more effort on, on this uh, topic where they are they're doing more body inclusive, fashion industry, they are making it more plus size models, they are doing all these, uh, they're making it more effort for people because I see people who are a little bit in the bigger size but they are exercising, they are also doing diets but they cannot lose weight because of their own body structure on how their body is built. 
it's not necessarily because that they are not do, putting an effort, it's just that they cannot. Their body type cannot. And that's what happened. And in Asia itself, it's a much bigger problem because we are still not body inclusive. We, like I have bigger friends who can't go to the shop and get their size of clothes. It is so sad. It is so bloody sad because some clothes that I can see, I can try wearing, my bigger friends can't get it because they don't have that sizes. And when I was in secondary school, can I borrow that piece of paper? Yes. yes. So, so this is an A4 size paper. So there were certain fat scales. One of the fat scales that we had was this A4 size paper. So what they did was they put it into their stomach like this and anything that comes out of their paper means that they're fat. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. The other thing was that one girl in my class, I don't know she, I don't know if she taught me as a project, but she just went like, can you stretch your arms like this? And I was like, okay. And she just went like, if you have fats coming out of your arm, that means you're fat. I'm like, and then she showed herself and she was like, see, you know, I don't have it. What was the point of her saying that? I don't know. It's absolutely ridiculous. And what I'm trying to say out of all of this is that, you know, we, we shouldn't look at A4 size paper, we shouldn't look at our arms because we are all built differently. We are all different body size. We are not, I'm not tall. I'm a little bit in the mid range in Asian, but if, if I go to uh, like London or something, I'm going to be uh, very short. I went to London and I got my clothes out of the kit section. <laughs> so it's different in every country. So what I'm trying to say is that this year, our resolution, we shouldn't have the top New Year's resolution by telegraph.co to be lose weight, exercise more. It should be more like be happy and be satisfied with what you are. And copyright to Ellen the Generous, we have to make it to be be happy and be kind to one another. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for your inspiring speech and I also want to 